racism. There is no the middle Prime ground Minister between us. Seats. Prime Minister will resume his seat. It being 4.30 p.m., I propose the question that the House do now adjourn, and I call the member for Bendigo. Well, isn't that a disappointing end? That was just a suspension of standing orders about disability, and we have a Prime Minister who is ranting about border protection. Doesn't he get that people with a disability have waited long enough for a royal commission into what is happening in the sector? Deputy Mr Speaker, on February 6, November 2015, there was a Victorian government parliamentary committee meeting that met in my electorate to discuss with people what is going on with disability. At the committee hearing, a number of parents spoke, a number of people with a disability spoke, a number of organisations spoke. But that committee, like all committees, did not have the powers that a royal commission has. That is why the Senate earlier today passed a motion calling on the creation of a royal commission into the disability sector. That is why this House should do the same to consider that. That is why the Labor Party two years ago called for this government, and we have committed, if we had the opportunity to form government, to start a royal commission into the disability sector. For far too long, people with a disability, their parents, their carers, their family members and organisations have suffered in, in silence. They, as have others on this side of the House have pointed out, been fobbed off, been pushed back, been told their issue was too complicated to be investigated. That is why there is the need for a royal commission into the disability sector. Um, I know from people that I've met with in my own electorate the heartbreak of a parent the heartbreak of a sister or brother to come and tell you their story of their loved one and what they've gone through. All these people are seeking is justice, and justice is, quite frankly, for some too hard to achieve. What they're also seeking is reform to the sector. Now, the Prime Minister came in here and ranted all about the NDIS. This is beyond the NDIS. You shouldn't delay a royal commission because the NDIS has not properly been rolled out. This is beyond the NDIS. The NDIS is an insurance scheme that has been created to ensure that people with a disability have access to the equipment they need, access to the support that they require, and there are flaws with its rollout. But this Royal Commission goes beyond that. This talks about people who are in care. This talks about the inadequacy of our services to be able to follow up complaints. This goes into the very complex nature of what goes wrong when somebody with a disability is injured, is abused or mistreated whilst in care. Deputy Speaker, sorry, Mr. Deputy Speaker I've, I've also got concerns about the NDIS and its rollout, and I've requested to meet with Interreach staff to learn more about why claims in my world, in my part of the world, why things are so hard. Um, Deputy Speaker, it's heartbreaking when you meet with people when they say that what they are receiving in the way of support is less today than what it was before the NDIS. That is heartbreaking. I've heard from people who, have, um, who are blind, who are seeking support, um, who are continuing to work despite their disability. Um, previously, they received um, an ongoing transport allowance to get them to and from work. But yet, under the NDIS and their first plan that was offered, they were told they could catch the train. Okay. Now, anybody living in a regional area knows how ridiculous it is to suggest to anybody to catch a train from Bendigo to Epson which, um, and walk. They were told to catch a train and walk the K from the train station to their workplace. You know, regional stations just don't have the, uh, the lighting, the safe. Um, walk routes that we have in some of our metro areas. It was clearly not suitable. We supported this person like so many others. It shouldn't be that hard, Deputy Speaker. So yes, there are problems with the rollout that we need to continue to work through. Absolutely. The model isn't working for employees, many who have been forced onto zero-hour contracts, people who have not had the opportunity to continue to work in the sector as full-time employees. 
We need to continue to work on the rollout of the NDIS to improve it. But that shouldn't be the excuse for not proceeding with the Royal Commission into disability and the mistreatment and the abuse of people with a disability.